we're at a shift in the paradigm where computers will no longer strictly be used by graphical uh, interfaces, but increasingly will be used in a more natural way, where the same human senses, speech, vision, hearing, you know, will allow the computer to, to interact with us at a higher semantic level. My goal in life is to find out how to design technologies that work for people and which fold into our environments in a way that's transparent, seamless, but ubiquitous. It's there when you need it and how you want it. The potential for the, uh, for the natural user interface work that we're doing here is in some ways to liberate people from technology. We don't want people's interaction with technology to be driven by the technology, but to, to be driven by the tasks that they're trying to achieve. We are remaking the, the way we relate to computers. And so there's a lot of different choices that we can make. So it is very important to come up with something that is fluid, works well, is usable, and is productive and fun at the same time. Avatar plays an important role in the natural user interface paradigm. It allows a user to interact with computers as they do with other human beings. I think it's a very exciting time at the moment to see um, you know, just how human-centric we can make that technology. Pretty soon we're going to see some of the things that we've, we've seen in science fiction, and it, it won't be so hard. In our vision, we can make the human-computer interaction more engaging and fun. The major change that we're entering into is a transformation where we're paying attention to the device, to the gadget, to the service, whether it be your phone, your slate, your desktop, to where you're starting to see the ecosystem. Because with ubiquitous computing, digital technologies invading almost everything we have. The way in which people will interact with computers will be more like they interact with another human being. And as a result, we can have a whole new expectation of what we can ask the computer to do uh, and the kind of help that it can provide.